Welcome back to ISF. At this point, you should have three ingredients for this episode. These ingredients are the pea seeds, the pots that you've already made, and the soil you've been provided. Before we can use the peas, we need to soak them in water for 12 hours. This helps them to germinate. So while they are soaking, we can use the soil and put it into the pots. Just fill it right up to the top and then just gently with your fingers push it down to get rid of any air pockets. Next, you get your seeds that have been soaking, transfer them, put them into the pot. You have 12 seeds, so you've got enough for two pots. Once they're in the soil, you want to add a layer of soil on the top, about the same depth as a pea. Just being very gentle, make sure you gently press it down slightly. Next, you want to um, put this onto a suitable surface, something like a saucer or a plate, something that captures any excess water or dirt. Then we have to think about looking after the peas as they start to grow. We need to think about keeping them moist. So in every household we all have water bottles. It's very important to reuse these. So this is a great way to make your own watering can. I'll show you how. We take the lid off the water bottle and with a pin like this, we can make a couple of holes in the lid. At this point it's really important to get a help from an adult because this can be quite tricky. And please don't do this on your favourite table or a very fragile surface. Make sure it's a suitable surface. Okay, so made two holes now. Okay, I've put some water into here. Closing it up and just lightly water the top. Now that's as much water as they will need. But what I want you to do is every morning when you get out of bed, first thing I want you to do, come and check how wet the soil is. So the soil should just be moist. It really shouldn't be soaking wet. If it's soaking wet, the seeds will die. So it just needs to be damp, okay? Very important. Best place to put this is actually beside a window, the window that gets most sun, um, and that'll help warm up the seeds and they will turn into lovely little pea shoots. So please join me in the next episode to find out how we manage the peas as they start to grow. So it's been great catching up with you again. I look forward to seeing you next episode. See you then. Okay, bye.